YouTubers. Um, I wanted to um, tell you about another documentary that um, we watched over the weekend and I'm going to leave links to the bottom of it um, down in the description box for you to check it out. If you are a Hulu member, um, it's on Hulu. Um, I don't know if it's on the free version of Hulu because I'm a paid member, so I don't really know. But there's a YouTube version of this uh, documentary that um, I think it's shorter than the actual full 40 minutes that we got to watch. But um, my only complaint about the documentary is that it wasn't long enough. It doesn't, it tells you that there's going to be a lot of solutions in technology um maybe even better than solar um maybe even better than you know what our government is trying to work up um, as far as solutions for water and um but it doesn't really tell you how they're going to overcome the bureaucratic you know bs to get those programs or get the products out to the consumer so it left me not really knowing if we're ever going to see this technology um, because they haven't really overcame all the hurdles. So the name of this uh, documentary is called Billions and Change and um, it is a documentary that is based upon the gentleman who uh, invented or created the five-hour energy drink. Um, I've never had the five-hour energy drink. I've never drank any type of energy products because I know they're latent with chemicals and even some of the holistic ones um, they affect your heart rate blood pressure all kinds of things um, but I've never I've never consumed any of those products but I wanted to tell you um, that this gentleman is certainly has a mindset um, that he wants to help um, make the world different and if you just take away that part of the documentary that he has a heart for people and he has a heart for um, humanity um, I think you'll really enjoy in fact my uh, you know my humorous side of my brain I thought wouldn't it be cool if and not only J Noel Zero but BC Truck and Brad took a trip to this place uh, where he has the the people who are tinkering and creating things and BC Trek you'll love this this documentary because um, this particular gentleman you know he's made millions of dollars on this five-hour energy and he's taken the money from this um, philanthropy and he is well actually he's become a philanthropist based upon the money because he doesn't really he said he never needed the money for the product he just thought it was a great product and he thought you know everybody should be able to get a little boost of energy in their day so but he created this garage where guys can go and buy um, unlimited amount of tools whatever you want and he has this facility where you can go tinker all day he said even if he didn't pay them he thinks they would just show up and start tinkering away and fixing and repairing and solving problems so I'm gonna leave the link at the bottom of this uh, video so you can check it out there's a YouTube version and a Hulu version I think is the full version of the documentary so and um, it's called billions and change and I would give this a hmm I'd say a 3.9 because it leaves me wondering how he's going to overcome the issues and the problems. He even goes uh, to the extreme in showing you how while solar may be good and it may be something that we all are going to end up using, not if not in, in this generation but the next, but his invention even goes beyond that. It, 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 it incorporates exercise with the creation of electricity so you're not going to really need solar you won't be reliant on the weather um, you won't be reliant on mother nature it'll just be deciding if you, if you know how much electricity but my concern is you know what about people with disabilities who can't you know create that electricity the way that he has um, decided it's it's great to do um, 
elderly people who can't do that. So, I mean, there's some obstacles that aren't really projected in the in this documentary that um, I think need to be talked about. While it's exciting to know that people are really doing something um, and becoming a great humanitarian, we launching those products is a whole nother process. So I hope you'll check it out. Um, this week I should have two recipes coming out. I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, Frito pie. It's just my memory of Frito pie growing up and I have a quick version and a little bit tougher version or a little bit more time consuming version that I put out but um, I had a lot of really great comments on that um, through Facebook and email. Love that. If you are not connected with me on Facebook um, for Pots, Pans, and Pioneers, check it out. Um, the link to our Facebook page is on our blog as well as on our YouTube channel. Um, and I was able to last week get off a bunch of pre-holiday gifts for all my favorite YouTubers and I really hope everybody's enjoying everything. Um, please gift it forward or offer it as giveaways. I love to help sponsor um, people who are you know needing uh, to expand their channel and get a, a larger and wider reach to help educate people about homesteading and self-sufficiency. Um, call on me if you need my help. I'm happy to jump in and help anytime. Anybody. Um, you know, I'm an encourager by nature and so I really um, want to be a, a resource for the community um, to help you know, broaden our our community and help bring more information to a wider range of people. So I hope everybody um, will check out the links below. Um, I wanted to leave everybody today with a word of encouragement. Um, and if you're a believer, you'll love this. If you're not a believer, maybe you can take away something from it other than just you know uh, spiritual up uplifting so um, let me let's see grab my glasses I can't see without my glasses so <clears throat> today's uh, today's reading uh, and this is a book that's not into print um, it's just called uh, whispers of blessing um, and this says his perfect plan Every experience God gives us, every person he puts into our lives is the perfect preparation for, for the future that only he can see. And I wanted to um, also mention, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the YouTubers are, you know, humble people. They don't start out, when, you know, they're not going to make a million dollars off of YouTube for sure. They're bringing information out of the goodness of their heart. They're just like me. We're wanting to share things that we know and that some people may, might take away from and expand on their own and either create their own channels or broaden their knowledge. And <clears throat> making these videos takes time. It takes planning. You know, I run five online stores and my point in bringing myself to YouTube was to document, you know, my life for not only my kids, my grandchildren and my great, great grandchildren and some of my family that I have a hard time, you know, connecting with due to schedules and things like that. They get updates about what's going on with us. So um, there's just a variety of reasons to have a YouTube channel and you're supposed to teach what you love. And so I try to do that. But my uh, motivation and encouraging and helping other people sending them you know things that I think they can not only use but encourage other people and paying it forward isn't any type of charity it is strictly an exchange um, you sit down and make these videos you think them through you show other people I benefit from them so now I feel like I owe you and while you sit there and say well no now I feel like I owe you we're not owing each other anything there's a complete exchange of blessing and I think um, we need to really understand that you know when I get enough subscribers I'm gonna be doing some big giveaways I have big ideas and plans for people to either launch businesses or 
you know, encourage people to do things beyond what they thought they could do. And I think it's important to do that. We have to make a difference in the world. Each individual one of us, we have to make a difference. So I think it's really important that um, we encourage each other in every way possible, letting them know there's good, solid, humble, great people out here who want to help. Together, great minds think think alike. We think better. We're, we have more to offer the world when we're in a team. So think about that as you don't feel worthy of somebody sending you something. Just consider it an exchange. It's a complete exchange. If they wanted something from you other than what you already do, trust me, they would demand it. Um, and those are the people you don't really want gifts from because, you know, or I, I don't even call them gifts. I call them blessings from other people. If somebody chooses to select you out of a group of people to bless, that is only going to come back to them. That's only going to, God is going to bless them who bless other people. And the only way we are to get blessings is to do good in the world, to encourage people, to lift them up in every way possible to make them feel needed and wanted and loved. And, you know, each YouTuber has their own reason for beginning a channel, starting a channel, maintaining a channel, and even earning an income from a channel. And there really isn't a lot of people earning incomes. If you do the study and you do the math, we're just all about sharing information. Now, it's a tight-knit community. It's not easily accessible to everybody. And... I know that, but I felt like contacting them was me saying, I have something to offer you and you've had something to offer me and we can exchange that information and we can exchange those blessings and it only makes us better. No one really knows you're out there until you put yourself out there. So just something to think about. And we really need to allow other people to bless us. It's only, it's, it's only, in my opinion, it's only God blessing us through them. It's not them. It's God's action to bless. There is a divine purpose of why somebody is in your life, in your path. And sometimes it's only for a season. Sometimes it's just somebody passing through your life. You're to learn, take from it, and let them go. And then there's some people that stick around and they're there for your part of your journey or if not all of your journey. So I hope that encourages you today. And um, I hope you can take something away from that. My favorite YouTubers, they're all getting packages for Christmas. And it's not because I think I'm delivering charity to them. It's because I want them to know there are people like me who run companies who have products and services and we're genuine. We want to help other people. We want to help encourage. We want to help expand the channel and we want to be a part of that community. And I hope you'll think about that and allow that in some way, um, you know, sift through the people who aren't genuine and hang on to the ones that are. So I hope you'll consider that and, um, I hope everybody has a great week. Don't forget to check out that Billions and Change documentary. And um, I'll see you next time. Y'all have a great week. Bye-bye.